Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you guys what I got from the brands, what I bought myself and what was on sale. Kind of give you a rundown of that. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> this is a huge bag, but this is everything that I got from Gen Beauty itself. The brands were super amazing. Like I said, there was about 50 brands there and you had just to wait in line, show your thing, and they would give you something. So I'm going to start with Pixie because I did buy stuff in there. So Pixie for waiting in line, we got this, oh, here it is. So for waiting in line in Pixie, we got this little flower crown just to follow them on Instagram. So you know I follow them on Instagram. Okay, then when we got to the booth, they gave us an endless silky pencil. This is in a khaki shade. Yeah, it's a matte khaki. It is absolutely gorgeous. I'm wearing it on my waterline today, but I don't think you guys can see it, but it's so creamy, so buttery, so it stays on there the whole day. I I love it. I love Pixie. Then Pixie had an option to get another free thing if you took a picture with their background, tagged them, and then hashtagged it Pixie Beauty. So I did. I will insert that. I think actually I'm going to make it the thumbnail of this video. Me and my friend tested. And they gave us a sheer butter lip balm. Then they had a promotion that if you bought two things, you could get something for free. So I did. And I bought the... Rose Caviar Essence. They kind of sold me on this by saying that, like, I think they said this was exclusive to Gen Beauty, but I see it on their website. But either way. And then I was super excited because I've always wanted to try this Hydrating Milky Mist. And so I bought both of these. They had 20% off products. And then, for showing interest in buying something, they gave me this Endless Brow Pencil in the shade Medium. And then when I actually bought something... They gave me this, which I'm actually wearing on my eyes today. This is the Mesmerizing Mineral Contour um, Eye Palette. Colors are amazing. There's only one matte shade in here. This is the only matte shade. Everything else is shimmers, but they are so, so amazing. I've never had, tried Pixie Shadows before, and I'm a little mad I didn't buy an eyeshadow palette while I was there. But I'll definitely go back next year, and I will definitely buy more stuff. I ended up getting two things from Nude Sticks. Um, they did not cross off my box the first day, so I got this shade. It is burgundy. I'm going to put it in the back of my hand. This is the shade burgundy. I got this the first day, and then we kind of realized this was our first stop, so we didn't really understand the whole crossing the thing off. So once we realized I didn't cross it off, I was like, yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to go back, I'm going to take advantage of this, which is probably really rude of me. But then I got the shade Blossom the next day, which is this shade right here. It's a, it's a nice nude. And then the next day if you went back and you, and you put it on your lips and you waited 30 seconds and then kissed the back of your hand, it's kiss proof. They gave me a little sharpener. Um, the first day they were giving the tins that I showed you before in our gift bag, but they gave these out, so I got two. And they are also offering the Creators Palette with a bunch of um, influencers making their own shades. They weren't offering any discount on that, but they were saying that, um, you know, once it sells out, it sells out forever, and, like, you could get it here exclusively. I will say, though, if they had discounts, I definitely would have bought more nude sticks, or if, even if they had anything for sale. Like, I was so impressed by the, the products, I just wanted to buy more, but they didn't have that option there. And not every brand has the option of selling things. Some brands really just sell and some brands do give stuff and sell. From Derma E, we got this little tote. They were all giving out bags. A bunch of brands were giving out like reusable bags which I love, save the environment and all. They gave us this little headband that says Derma E on it and then they gave us this which is the Nourishing Rose Cleansing Oil with Argan and Jojoba, Jojoba? Jojoba oils. They were also giving out free temporary tattoos and I freaked out. I love temporary tattoos so the girl threw me some and was like, oh, just put these in your bag. Like, don't tell anyone I gave them to you. I'm going to put one on because I just, I had it over here, but it wore off. Koki was giving out a few things. I went there probably, it was the last booth that I got to on the second day. So they were down to only lipsticks, but I know they were giving out matte liquid lipsticks. But this is the sheer lipstick in the shade Stark Pink. And this is what it looks like here, swatched. My big bag is from Tarte, and as you guys know, Tarte is my favorite brand. They had discounts on a whole bunch of stuff. The only thing I don't think they were discounting was the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. But for just going, you got a Rainforest of the Sea fan brush. And then I actually 
was hoping they were selling things because I, I ran out of my maracuja oil, which I basically use to drop into my foundation every day to share it out a bit. I not a big full coverage foundation person, so I was like, oh, like I need them to be selling maracuja oil because I, I literally just ran out that day, and they were. The travel size maracuja oils, which are usually $16, were only $5 each, so I picked up three. <laughs> One is in my vanity right now. Mega Cosmetics had this really cute thing. It was like a bingo, you know, in bingo they have the crank, and then the ball comes out, and it's like B14. Well, they had that with um, ping pong balls, and they would have a number written on the ping pong ball. So I got two, so I got to pick out two of these little nail duos I don't think they had anything for sale either but just these nail duos but everyone won one you had the option of winning up to three actually I did one and Tessa won three but she gave me one of hers okay Royal and Langnickel had this really sorry Moda I know that they're owned by Royal and Langnickel but they have the brand Moda brushes I think is the the brush brand from Royal and Langnickel I'm not sure how that works but I followed Moda brushes on Instagram to get this spin on a wheel so you like spun this wheel around and it would tell you what brush you got so I got the foundation brush for free and then they had up to 40% and, and over off brushes so I picked up um, a gold Moda Pro crease brush here and this was only four dollars so I picked up two of them one of them is in my vanity right now because I used it today Mark Anthony had this really cool um, gift maker and so Tess and I did the gift maker, and then for doing that and following them on social media, we got a bag. It is a reusable bag. I have it downstairs. My mom is using it for groceries. But they, in that bag, they gave us a sample size of the Curl Effect Curl Cream. They gave us a huge sample of the Nourishing Conditioning Treatment. And then they gave us a deluxe sample of the Argan and Moroccan Oil um, hairspray. They were doing buns if you wanted to. They would like put either one bun in your hair up here or two buns over here or just your hair in a bun in general. From Winky Lux, they were selling and I'm not sure if they were discounted because there wasn't really someone who was handling that. Usually they had a sheet of paper like Tarte did and so did Pixie on the prices that it was for Gen Beauty, but they did not. However, I spun a wheel and I got another liquid lipstick from them in this shade. Super nice. They gave me three options. Tess spun the wheel and she got this little it literally looks like a pill, and you open it and it's a lipstick. <sighs> I should have bought something from Jouer. Jouer was selling 3 for 35 lipsticks, and also giving us a free, full-size lip gloss. I got the shade Fifth Avenue, and I was like, oh, like, I'm gonna buy them. And then Tessa's like, are you really gonna buy them, Meg? Like, we got so many lipsticks already, and I was like, you know what, you're right, like, I'm just gonna take the free one for now, I'll come back tomorrow. And then on Sunday, I went back and I was like, I don't know, and Tessa's like, Megan, don't do it, like, stop it, you have bought enough. And I was like, you're right. So I didn't, but I regret it, <laughs> and I'm going to buy more of these because this lip gloss is so beautiful. Some brands kind of gave an attitude if you did not buy anything from them, and one of them was Benefit. Benefit gave you a full-size highbrow pencil. It's one which retails for, I think, $18 regularly. Um, and they handed you a list and was like, oh, everything's 25% off. But Ulta was having a sale that day where their roller lash was 50% off and so was one of their brow products. So I was like, I'm not going to buy this at 25% off when I can go to Ulta and get it for half off. And they kind of gave me like a really, really dirty look when I... I'm sorry. Another brand I was really disappointed in was Ciate London. I have been dying to try their stuff and they were trying the glitter flip on people. But they didn't give us a sample of the glitter flip and what they did give us was a tiny little bronzer here, which I'm not mad about they sample bronzer but it was a long line to wait in and all they were going to give out was this bronzer um the lipstick that we got in our goodie bag or a brow, a brow pencil i think and again the woman was really kind of rude when she gave this to me it's a gorgeous shade this is in the shade bamboo bronzer i'll just hold it up really nice and close but you know i was like okay I really would have liked to try out the glitter flip and i think they were given that option but it was such a, a weird atmosphere to be in that Tess and I didn't want to stay any longer than we had to there. I've said it before and I'll say it again, but Luxie Rush is, is awesome. So they're, they were one of the, um, what do they call them, diamond, platinum givers. They had one of the biggest booths there. So you, it was a long line. So we went the first thing Sunday morning because we could not get into the line Saturday. It was always full and then you have to come back. Back on Sunday and we got this, which is the Luxie 1-2-1 brush. It is a small tapered brush. 
mini tapered, I'm sorry, mini tapered brush. Super soft. I'm super excited. Like I said, I love Lexi brushes. And then they gave me the opportunity to spin this wheel. Now, on this wheel, they had more brushes. They had $30, up to $30 um, on their website, like a gift card, or they had a palette. And I got the palette. I was like, I never went anything. Tessa was like getting like all the jackpots, like everywhere. And I was like, wow, like I have the worst luck. But then I got this. This is the Blue Me Away palette. Look at how gorgeous this is. And it is mostly blue. It's all blues except for these two here. And these shades are just insanely beautiful. And I don't really own blue eyeshadows, but I really wanted to. Actually, I haven't even swatched them. Let me swatch. I'm going to swatch the shade. Wow, it's creamy. I'm going to swatch the shades. Steamy. And that is like a half swipe. That is gorgeous. I'm so excited to try this. They were also... You could enter to win um, the new Jasmine collection that they have with them. And some lucky person won the entire collection. And those brushes were gorgeous. I, I think they were selling, but like I said, I wasn't completely sure. They definitely weren't selling single brushes like Royal and Langnickel, but they were selling, I think, so. So from Note Cosmetics, they gave out... It was at the end of the day on Saturday I went. They just gave me this lip gloss. It kind of looks a little weird now. But this is in the shade Love Baby. This, even though it looks really baby pink, it has zero color payoff. It's really just a sheer gloss with like a kind of tint to it. Makeup Forever was giving out free full-size liquid lipsticks, but the line was forever. I think they also had bags at first. And I saw people going around with these bags from MAC. They were huge. They were reusable. So there was a way to enter um, online in like an online queue for the line. So Tess and I did that and we started out with 465 people ahead of us at Makeup Forever. And we went home that day, I guess people were quitting the line. So we, when we got there, we were like 100 people. And then we were about 60, there were three, two hours left in the event, I mean. And I went to see my status and it said that I was uneligible. So I was like, oh my god, they, like, they cut the line off two hours early. So we went and waited in line, and actually we did get into line. Like I said, it was really hard to get into lines for MAC, for NYX, for Makeup Forever, for Luxie, and for Lancome. But we did end up getting a line, and I did end up getting a liquid lipstick. They kind of tried it on the back of my hand, which was really nice. So I got this shade. It's a 101. <laughs> and on the back of my hand, it looks like my perfect nude, but I, I put it on my lips, and it's a little light. They also color matched me and told me my color, which I've been dying to try the Ultra HD foundation from them. So now I have my color, and I think once I run out of my foundation now, I'm going to go buy that one. Pure Lease was another uncomfortable experience. They put us uh, in a line and then made us try on their BB cream. And the BB cream shade they picked for me was too light. Too, no, it was too, too warm, I think. And it just looked weird on the back of my hand, and I was like, this is not going to fit my skin tone. Like, I just wanted the the free gift that we get with our thing and they were just like oh this is great and you want to buy it and like my friend Tessa they put on a shade way too light for her and she's like this isn't my shade because they have like four shades I guess and they just came out with two more but it was just kind of really uncomfortable but we ended up getting a nice um, cloth bag from them and this blue lotus cleansing milk I think this is full size people were saying it was a a sample but I really think this is full size so I do suggest you bring a bag with you when you go because Tessa and I didn't thinking we were gonna get a bag like a goodie bag to put stuff in but it was so full we couldn't even I can't even close mine now Tessa couldn't even close hers for the whole day so we went to belief and they gave out a bag they gave out this which is like a um it's like a little bead thing and like we have them for we have them at my pharmacy that I work out and like you either heat them or cool them and you can put on your your eyes clearly for like an eye mask on top of another one of their moisture eye bombs so we have two of these now and we have this and we got a bag and all we had to do for that was take a picture and hashtag belief in the truth they were not selling because I really wanted to buy their moisture bomb but they were not selling our tea brushes was really nice you got entered in a giveaway to win one of their sets I think it was every hour or twice a day so I entered for that they also would offer to put more highlight or like more blush or whatever on you using their brushes and then they gave us this little compact M cosmetics was one of the first brands I went to and I have been dying since I heard Mariah Leonard talk about them and they gave away a full-size eyeliner they had three options to choose from I got the felt tip this is so pretty I have to show you I got the felt tip one I'm like this is the box that came in like it's just so pretty I love their logo look at that um they also had a regular gel liner and a felt tip and they gave us two for free they were selling their liquid lipsticks or more of these 
but it was the second one I went to and Tess and I were just trying to get into as many lines as we could. From Double Dare Beauty, they gave us a full size mask. What I had to do again was take a picture, hashtag it, show it to them, and they'd give me this mask. A lot of things happen on Instagram. Um, so I got a 3-in-1. This has like a 24 karat gold eye patch on this side, and then this has a face and neck, neck peel-off mask, and then this is a moisture finishing cream. So excited. I'm so excited. They looked so good. A lot of them were sold out by the second day. I went the second day, but these look awesome, so I'm ready. Ava in New York City was giving off these Purse Perfect Towelettes, which basically it's a little towelette with oil on it, and if your hair is feeling dull, kind of run your hair through it. And the girl was showing us it made her hair look super shiny and super silky. She gave me four samples. <laughs> so, very cool. This will go in my purse. From Over Cosmetics, they gave us a miniature lipstick. I got in the shade Mina. It looks like this. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous fall color. And also they had this, like, tube. And it was like, oh, guess how many lipsticks in it? And you could win. I think it was the full line. Also, everything at Ofra was $10. It was their lipsticks and their highlighters. So, I bought the shade Manila which I have been dying to try from them. I just feel, I feel like ordering online is a little difficult when it comes to like lipsticks because I don't know what they really look like. So this is what it, it's what it is. Oh no, my sticker. Highlighters were $10. All of them. And Nikki Tutorials was there both days, but I did not go see her because I was standing in lines and, you know, you kind of walked around and like saw her face and like her makeup looked flawless. And she was just so, so nice to, you know, her fans. So it was really really beautiful to see. Physicians Formula gave us another little bag like this. This is so freaking cute and I'm gonna use this all the time. And inside came a mineral wear cushion color corrector. This is the two sides. This is yellow and green for dark circles and redness. So Tessa was freaking out when we were at the, the booth and I was like why? And then I look there and there's Rock Satirista and I was like so I got a picture with Roxette, and she was super, super nice, gorgeous in person, and like I was smiling so big. I was like, oh my god, like I watch you on YouTube, and um, the fish edition form, like, people were like, wow, you're smiling so big, and I was like, I know. Essence was super cool. They had a Gen Beauty gift bag bag, and then they had little, um, little ping pong balls inside there in different colors, and the different colors meant you get different things. So Tessa, I think, hit the jackpot on this one, and she got like, one of everything. I got a lip product, and it's this one. This one, this one, this one. This is a really weird way I'm holding it. I'm sorry. It's this one. It looks super dark purple, but it's actually sheer, and it just has little sparkles on it. And they were also having, they were selling, I think it was five for ten dollars? Three for ten dollars? Three for ten dollars. But with the lip product that I want, they also gave me this um, All About Chocolates eyeshadows, which looks like these. These are all metallic shadows, and I've never tried an Essence shadow before, but I was super impressed. Let me let me clean my hand off, and I'll swatch for you guys. All right, the nude sticks won't budge. All right, I'm just going to swatch this shade. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Essence. This is like $2. So then we went to Catrice, and then Tessa hit the jackpot again, so she got one of everything, and I got the eye color. So I got another one of those liquid metals. This is in the shade What Do You See? And it is the most gorgeous blue green teal they were also selling catrice was selling it was five for twenty dollars another brand i was super upset about was nyx tess and i waited in the nyx line for and i'm not kidding an hour and a half and they were doing makeovers using the new elemental palettes and i have wanted the earth elemental palette for forever but it was at the end of saturday and we were just like let's just wait in line people are keep, they just keep waiting and have like good stuff here so we did and all we got was a Pin up pout lipstick in this in this red shade right here. Um, and I was like, I waited an hour and a half for this. Like, you could get another lipstick apparently by doing more stuff, but there was another line to wait in. So Tess and I didn't even go. We I just crossed it off myself. Like I didn't want to go back. Um, and we were kind of disappointed with how they handled it. Because, like, if you didn't want to get your makeover, you still had to wait in the same line for people who did want to get their makeovers. And, like, I do love NYX as a brand. That's why I wanted to go to them and, and support them because they were selling also. But, you know, it didn't end up working out. So I was a little disappointed with that. CoverGirl was super nice. They had us take a picture behind this, like, foresty um, background. And then they gave you a melting pout lipstick. 
I got mine in the shade 100, which is Celebrity. Anyway, from Brow Foods, I got a, a brow pencil. They have this thing where you could try out three different... You take either one of these three products home. One was a tinted brow gel, one was this brow pencil, and one was a powder to cream form. But I took the brow pencil home. It might be a little too warm for me. I wish they'd give me a darker shade, but they have this... It's dual-sided, and one side is a lighter shade and one side is a darker shade. The idea is to put the lighter shade in the front of your brows and the darker shade at the end of your brows. So from Briogeo, um, they didn't have anything on sale. They had a wheel where you could get $5 off of that specific product on the wheel. So I just got their sample of this Don't, Re Don't Despair hair mask. Next, we went to Dirty Little Secrets Cosmetics. And it was, again, a wheel spin. They had an eyeshadow palette. They had a few lipsticks. They had a few other things. Tessa won the eyeshadow palette. I won a lipstick, and I have the shade Denial. This color, this color reminds me of Kathleen Light's collab with ColourPop 0, .0 but in a lipstick form. Alright, almost done, almost done. From Glow Recipe, they put a whole bunch of stuff on the back of my hand and made me go through a whole bunch of hoops to get this, but it's a bunch of samples. There is a sample for the Energy Yellow Citrus and Honey Tone Up and Revitalizing Deep Cleanser. We have two stem water cleansers. Then we have a serum. We have a serum. Glamour Dolls wasn't was they were they selling glamour dolls gave this little pop thing for your phone but look at it has a dog on it and it says french kisses frenchy kisses the last two things this was pure cosmetics they gave us a sample size waterproof big lash mascara it has that cool like water droplet effect on the cap like the Too Faced better than sex one where it's like yeah they were also selling their palettes their my little pony and their pure saray palette and the last thing we got was from this super, super cool brand called um, SoCo Glam, which is this little, like, baggie of stuff. We got a cleansing water, a real flower cleansing water. We have a cleansing foam pore control. This is an egg white one. And then we got a, I think this is a full size. This is huge. This is a clear toner from the brand. Okay, guys, that's everything I got in my bags. I did not get to go to every single um, stand. The ones I missed that I was a little... I'm not upset that I missed any of them, but I think Tess and I decided we're going to get the early access ticket next year so we can go to MAC, Lancome, Rimmel, and all the other ones. She went to Groomy and she got um, another one of those little hair tie things. It was great. Everything I'm wearing on my face will be in the description bar down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you out. If you went to Gem Beauty, leave below... If you liked it, your favorite product, your favorite brand, and if you bought anything, I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.